our kind of our goal is to spread uh, peace and tranquility and joy and sharing art at the same time. Interacting with works of art in a unique way. That's the goal behind Art Puzzle Project. And um, I actually surprised Anna with one of her art and we did it together and we had so much fun doing it that um, we thought, how can we share this with others? And it just kind of grew out of there. Co-founders Anna Fernandez and Susan Oliver Hurd are turning works of art from local artists into puzzles. Something you can't get anywhere else. So this is the very first one. This is a completed puzzle, so it features my art. And it was really cool to make a puzzle that was of a painting um, because with the brush strokes and the colors. And so we just got to talking about how it was, it's really cool to do a puzzle that is so unique. We've got at least 15 artists right now, uh, mostly local artists. We've got a few national as well. So basically the artists are donating an image to the cause. They wanted to find a way to share this timeless activity. So they're teaming up with Meals on Wheels. They're excited to be able to have something they can uh, give to the people enrolled in the program. So it's gonna be hopefully somewhat of a surprise unless they're watching this. And it's a great way if you're alone particularly um, to have a lot of fun, figure out you know which paint goes there and kind of look at the picture and just pass the time without you know, if you read too many books or watch too much TV, this is a, just a different variety of things to do. You can also purchase puzzles from their website and all the funds go towards making more puzzles. The designs that we're selling, uh, you know, they're all really family friendly, like kind of designs. We're going to have a special edition puzzle for the Meals on Wheels. So it's still kind of up in the air and open. So, you know, we were having a lot of fun, like going through all the photos and just, or the uh, digital images and deciding like which ones are going to be the best. For so what does it take to create a puzzle from a piece of art? Uh, Susan's an experienced puzzler. And so I kind of ask her, what do you think about this image? Because an image that I think might be really good is either too difficult maybe, or it's really interesting viewing it from a puzzle point of view because of depending on the shapes and colors. And yeah. that, we also have, a, I want to mention, we also have puzzles for children as well and for people who need larger pieces. So, you know, that's why we're working on a special edition puzzle for the Meals on Wheels. You know, we've got 500 a piece, 24 pieces. I didn't realize there were so many different types of puzzles when I got into this. For example, I don't know, if you're, if you're making a puzzle and there happens to be like a straight arm in the photograph, that's kind of fun because you can like put the puzzle together and find the arm. And at a time when many are experiencing loneliness, these puzzles can hopefully piece together more smiles. And you're making something, particularly with Anna's work, you're making a scene of San Antonio. I mean, that's really fun. That's where it started. And then we just got all these artists that were excited about it as well. For us, a live. End result is that we get to present a bunch of puzzles to people who may be alone. I'm Jen Tobias Strusky.